You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with this digital news update. A settlement was reached in a gun trace task force lawsuit at City Hall Board of Estimates meeting on Wednesday. Derek Anderson sued former GTTF officers Ivadio Hendricks, Wayne Jenkins, Marcus Taylor, and Maurice Ward for false arrest and imprisonment. Anderson was arrested in May of 2016 after the officers reportedly found a handgun on him. Anderson pled guilty and spent 14 months behind bars before all the charges were dismissed in 2017. That's when all four officers were federally indicted on a conviction in the corruption scandal. An original proposal of $170,000 was made, but Anderson dropped it down to $60,000, which the city paid on Wednesday. A running theme of the meeting was the question of whether the former officers were receiving their pensions. Do you know if the officers of the Gun Trace Task Force, if they uh, are eligible for their pensions? I do not know that. We do not know that. I do not know that. Um, again, I think that's another, uh, that's an issue that we'll continue to bring up. Um, I just wanted to really speak that into the record today. Now, there are still three active GTTF lawsuits and four more that could be brought forward. There's been an increase in carjackings throughout the city compared to last year this time, and it's left many people kind of scared about maneuvering in their own neighborhoods. So how can you prevent it from happening to you? City Councilman James Torrance from District 7 says to get a doorbell camera or any other camera that you can connect to Baltimore City's watch program. Also, don't leave your keys near the front door of your home and say people can scan them. And don't wait in your car to text when you park as it leaves you distracted, at least an easy target as well. Well, a popular baby bottle manufacturer has issued a recall due to high lead levels in some of its projects. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the markings on the outside of some of the Nuke's first choice glass baby bottles contain lead levels higher than those set by the federal government. About 100 bottles sold in the U.S. are affected. They were designed for newborn to six-month-old babies and sold exclusively on Amazon. The bottles have white and gray stars on the outside, along with the brand name Nook reported in white. Critically ill children got a chance to go on their own treasure hunt on Wednesday, courtesy of the Casey Cares Foundation. A crew of 100 kids and their families set sail from the Inner Harbor aboard the urban pirate ship for a day in the open seas. They enjoyed a treasure hunt with real life pirates and mermaids from Charm City Tales. Older kids got a chance to go out on the private sailboats with their families thanks to the downtown sailing center. Best part of all of it, it was free. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're starting off with some sunshine as we head into your Thursday. Upper 70s for the morning, eventually climbing into the 90s. Then the upper 90s at that for the second half of the afternoon. Watching the chance of a couple of showers and thunderstorms trickle in late day, especially west uh, of the city here. We are looking at daytime ice hopping out near 97 in Baltimore, 96 in Columbia, 95 in Elkton and numbers are still going to stay in the 90s through the rest of the work week and we're going to be looking at intermittent rain chances trickling in the forecast for the next seven days. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. We'll bring you updates on the top stories and breaking news we're following. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download our WMER2news app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Sweet.